we could find the language accepted by a finite automaton. We could also try to construct a finite automaton for a given language. Before we do that, we need to address an important question. How many states will we need? To answer this question, let's introduce the following idea. Let L be a language over some set of symbols. Two strings in our set of strings are distinguishable with respect to L if there's a string Z where exactly one of X, Z, and Y, Z is an L. Otherwise, the strings are indistinguishable. Note that if x and y are indistinguishable, then it means that for every string z, either x, z, y, z are both in L, or they are both not in L. So for example, let L be this language. Let's show that 1 and 1, 1 are distinguishable with respect to L. Since the elements of L consist of strings of any number of 1, zeros, we can distinguish 1 from 1, 0 by appending a 0. 1, 0 is in L, but 1, 1, 0 is not. How about 1, 1 and 1, 1, 1? Since the elements of L consist of strings of any number of 1, zeros, then any string containing two consecutive ones can't be in L. Likewise, no string containing three consecutive ones could be an L. So for any other string, 11z is not in L, and 111z is not in L. So these two are not distinguishable over L. Now suppose x and y are distinguishable with respect to L, where xz is in L, but yz is not. This means that the state that we get to from our initial state, starting at x, must be different from the state we get to, starting at our initial state, with y. Otherwise, we'd follow the appended string z to the same place. Formally, suppose x and y are distinguishable in L. We claim delta star q naught x is different from delta star q naught y. Suppose instead they're equal, say both of them sent us to state p, then delta star q naught x z, well that's really delta star from where you ended up following the instruction z, you should proves this, and so we get delta star pz. Likewise, delta star q naught yz will be also delta star pz, and consequently they end up at the same state, but since they're distinguishable, only one of them can be in an accepting state. Consequently, Suppose there are n elements of our set of strings that are pairwise distinguishable with respect to L, then a finite automaton that recognizes L must have at least n states. Note that we're not requiring L to be regular, so a finite automaton recognizing L might not exist, but if it does, then we know a lower bound of the number of states it must have. So, for example, let's find a lower bound on the number of states for a finite automaton recognizing 1, 0, star. Let's try to find strings that are distinguishable with respect to L. So, let's try this systematically. The length 1 strings are 0 and 1. A uh, question in the back? Shouldn't we start with length 0 strings? Oh, you're right, we usually start with zero, I forgot about, I mean, I am deliberately starting with length one strings to make a point that we'll return to later on. So, let's start with length one strings because I meant to do that because uh, I, it's not that I forgot about length zero strings. Yeah, that's right. So, where were we? Since no string that starts with zero can be part of L, then for any string, zero z is not in L. 
So if we could find a string z where 1z is in L, then we could distinguish between the strings. After a little thought, z equals 0 works, since 0, 0, still not in L, but 1, 0 is. So 0 and 1 are distinguishable over L. So the length two strings are So 0, 0, 0, 1, and 1, 1 can never start a string in L. This means we can't include any of them in our set of distinguishable strings since we would not be able to distinguish them from 0, since for any other string, 0z, 00z, 01z, and 11z are all not in L. Could we include 1, 0? Notice that since all strings in L have to have even length, then if we append 1, 0 to 1, 0, we get an element of L. But if we append 1, 0 to either 0 or 1, we won't. So 1, 0 is pairwise distinguishable from our other strings. How about length 3 strings? Again, if we have a length 3 string that could never be the start of a string in L, it would be indistinguishable from 0. The only length 3 string that could be the start of an element of L is 101, but this would not be distinguishable from 1, since if 101z was in L, then 1z would also have to be in L. And by the same logic, no length 4 string can be pairwise distinguishable from a string in our current set. So there are only three distinguishable strings, and a finite automaton for a language must have at least three states. So now that we know the minimum number of states, how do we build a finite automaton for L? We'll take a look at that next.